Hello and welcome to Gaia Bonsai to something a little bit different today. This is about fertilizers and this is personally what I use and um, throughout the season to uh, keep my plants growing well and nice and healthy. So basically what I've got here is uh, grow more, phosphogen, some tomato fertilizer and this is grow more which is like a granular fertilizer so i'll deal with the tomato fertilizer first this i use quite late in the season between probably um, august and september i just give a couple of monthly feeds with this however if you've got any flowering or fruiting bonsai it would be um, quite beneficial to give a feed um, early in the season when the flower buds or the fruits are starting to form so I won't be covering this in much detail today as it's really uh, sort of more for late season or early season um, flowering or fruiting bonsai of which I've got uh, no examples at the moment so move on to uh, the miracle grow you can get this um, at any garden centers really they all seem to have a massive big display with you know savings quite cheap um quite cheap offers on i just like to mention that i bought this with my own money i'm not um, being um subsidized or i haven't got these free so these are personally what i used to um with good effect previously so this is a soluble fertilizer it's got a little scoop in here what I do is I put a scoop onto a piece of paper, slide it into an old milk bottle, fill it up with some uh, half full with some warm water, give it a really really good shake, and then I add that to um, an empty watering can, and then I fill up the watering can um, to the um, brim sort of thing to make the correct strength mixture. So the phosphogen, that's a similar soluble feed. It's got a little scoop. It's got the, um, if we can see in there, a little scoop. It's got the directions on the pack. So for both of these, one scoop is equal to four to five liters of water. So a normal size watering can is probably 10 or 11 litres. So for a full strength feed, you would need uh, two scoops for one full size watering can. And that would be what we call a full strength fertiliser solution. So a timetable for feeding. Uh, I feed my trees um, I'll go into more detail in a moment, but basically um, when I'm feeding it's every two weeks So to keep things nice and easy I feed on the first and Third Monday of every month So on the first Monday of the month I use the miracle grow and on the third Monday of the month I use the phosphogen Right, so I've got some examples of trees here and various um, stages of growth and I'll tell you the um, solution strength I use so these are a little seedlings they're established quite well they're growing nice and strongly as you can see they've got plenty of leaves on so for these I'd feed every two weeks and I'd use um, either miracle Grow or phosphogen at a 50% dilution that's to say um, one scoop for a watering can so that's for half strength for small seedlings that are growing well um, about when I feed I usually feed first thing in the morning and I also make sure the soil is nice and moist before applying any fertilizer and that will help so it doesn't burn the roots basically so moving on I haven't really got any established trees but this is a nice little dawn redwood which is in quite a small pot so with an established tree or a tree similar to this what i'd do is i'd feed at one quarter strength 
and I'd probably feed just every month and that will just keep the tree nice and healthy give it some extra nutrients but without encouraging too much growth so for established trees that are in their pots this is a European larch and a golden larch these are coming into their second year now so I'd feed these um, so I'd feed these um, every three uh, every other week on the cycle so it'd be one week with the miracle grow third week with the phosphogen and I'd probably feed those at um, full strength as they're growing um, actively and I want to uh, bulk them up here's a couple more established trees that's a ginkgo in a one litre pot and this is a pine which is growing nicely that's a one litre pot um, these trees are like for um, growing on and bulking up so once again I'd use the um, every two weeks feeding uh, regime so that would be uh, miracle Grow first week and Phosphagen on the third week and I'd feed those at full strength and then for my bonsais in training this is Dawn Redwood that's it's been potted up about three weeks no not three it's about two months now and that's growing quite well it's in leaf nicely um, with this tree I'd like to bulk it up and get it to grow on as quickly as possible so I'd feed this one full strength and I'd feed it um, on the every two week cycle with miracle grow and phosphagen now for trees you'd like to um, bulk up really fast or for plants growing in the ground that you want to grow quickly you can use the grow more um, this is a granular and it's 50 grams per meter squared onto the soil so you're going to have to do some mental arithmetic to exactly how much you're going to use so um, for established trees in pots I quite often um, add this at the start of the season so for this all you do is just get a suitable scoop and just try and sprinkle it evenly on the surface and then just work it into the compost so the birds don't eat it or it uh, doesn't get eaten by any insects or any other wildlife just work it into the surface and that will give her like a continuous feed so if you're looking to bulk a tree up really quickly you can use and um, grow more and um, a liquid feed as well to get the maximum growth you do have to uh, be careful about um, too much fertilizer residue in the soil so it's always a good idea to water things extremely thoroughly so it flushes the um, excess fertilizer out of the pot so for watering when i water my trees i put them in a tray similar to this and that will catch any excess fertilizer which you can use again or we can put onto the garden plants etc and then that way it doesn't like run off into the grass make the grass grow really quick or um, pollute any water sources so another thing to check is the compost make sure it hasn't already got fertilizer added most of the cheaper garden center compost and won't have any um, fertilizer added you can look on the packet or if you see any little tiny uh, colored grains that might be a slow release fertilizer that the manufacturers added in which case it probably wouldn't be a good idea to give too much um, extra feed to your plants in growing in that compost but usually the treat compost haven't really got much in the way of added nutrients it's only the more expensive uh, high quality and particularly um, the compost they use for nursery stock which has usually got a good um, long lasting slow release fertilizer incorporated in it so it's always good to um, double check for your own peace of mind so I never feed a tree that's uh, looking sick or um, a bit poorly um, I try and feed early in the morning and that way if you do splash any uh, fertilizer on the leaves it's not going to scorch it with the uh, strong sunshine and making sure the pots are really moist 
before using any kind of fertilizer and um, wear gloves and always wash your hands after handling any kind of garden chemicals so that's worked well for me over the past few years of growing uh, trees here in South West Cornwall which is quite a um, wet moist climate so I hope you found something interesting in this video I look forward to making some more content for you very shortly so take care and thank you so much for watching goodbye for now